to Chef's Circle. My name is Andy and I'll be guiding you through the first six countries online. You may be wondering, what is Chef's Circle? It's a cooking program that focuses on a different country each week. Our goals are to increase independence, practice safe and sanitary cooking, table manners, and to learn about different cultures and their cuisine. I hope that you will practice cooking skills such as selecting ingredients online or in the grocery store, chopping and preparing the ingredients, measuring amounts to add to your recipe, practicing safe and sanitary cooking techniques, and cooking on the stovetop and in the oven. By the end of the program, I hope that you will have more independence in the kitchen. Each week, I'll provide facts to increase cultural understanding and table etiquette. It is important that when you eat a meal that you have proper table manners and abide by social norms. You may be surprised at how table manners differ around the world. For example, some places in India consider bird being to be polite. You may be like, hey Andy, what does food have to do with learning about different cultures? You can actually explore a lot about a particular culture by exploring their food. Food is a universal necessity. It doesn't matter where in the world you're from, you have to eat. So, your culture most likely evolved from that very need. That means that the animals, land, and resources you are near dictated not only what you consume, but also how you prepare and cook it. Culture and food also affects individuals on a personal level. We grow up eating the food of our cultures and it becomes part of who we are. Many of us associate food from our childhood with warm feelings and good memories and it ties us to our families, holding a special and personal value for us. Cuisine can reflect the unique history, lifestyle, values, and beliefs of a country or community. It is important to remember that each dish has a special place in the culture to which it belongs and is important to those who prepare it. We need to learn about these cultural differences to understand and have an increased appreciation and respect for what makes people and places unique. If you're interested in learning about different cultures, table etiquette, and improving your cooking skills, check out Chef Circle. We will post a new video every Wednesday for the next six weeks. If you have questions, feel free to comment on the Macbeth Connect Facebook page. Okay, I have a question for you. What memories do you have about food, maybe when you were younger, and what does it say about your culture? So when I was little, I grew up out in the country, and my dad would take my sister and I fishing. For those of you who haven't been fishing, if you're out there all day not catching that much, it can be very boring, but we usually had a good time. So if we caught a lot of fish, we would come home and we would have a fish fry, and we'd invite all of our friends over and it was so much fun. We'd sing karaoke and play washers and throw darts and eat fried fish and it was just so good. And hush puppies. Mm. So I guess what that says about where I'm from and my culture is that we grew up out in the country. We would spend our weekends outside all day hunting or fishing or riding four wheelers which is quite different from probably a lot of different backgrounds you have and probably maybe similar to some of them too. So I'm interested to hear what your childhoods were like and what memories you have of food growing up that tell me about yourself and your culture and where you came from. Thanks. See you later.